Now, let's take a look at standard notation. How do we convert things to standard notation? If the number is larger than 1. Let's take a look, for example, the number 9700. The first step we need to do is to change it to a single digit front. So, very simply, we can convert it like this. So, 9700 becomes 9 9.7 times 1000. You can check this on your calculator easily. And the second step is to count the number of zeros in um, this number over here. For example, 1000 is equal to 3 zeros. And lastly, we can convert this 1000 into 10 to the power of 3 because there are 3 zeros in here. Okay? So, finally, we can combine it together for the answer, which is 9700 is equal to 9.7 times 10 to the power of 3. Now, how do we convert to standard notation for numbers that are smaller than 1? For example, 0, 0.000 something. Okay, let's, like, let's take a look at the example here, which is the number 0 0.063. Okay, the first step will be to change it to a single digit front. Um, yeah, so 0 0.063 will be 6.3. This is single digit and, yeah, single digit front. Lah. And all the rest should be after the decimal. Then it will be times 0 0.01. This can be easily checked by your calculator once again. Now, the second step is to count the number of zeros again. Okay, so 0 0.01 has 1, 2. It has two zeros. You should count both of them. Okay, you should count all zeros, including the one before the decimal. And we convert this into the proper number over here. Okay, which is 0 0.01 is equal to 10 to the power of minus 2. Now, the third step is we can combine it together for the final answer, which is 0 0.063 equals to 6.3 times 10 to the power of minus 2.